girl Jen and I am back here in Palm Springs ready for round two of festival season. I am so excited to be partnering up with Neutrogena using their items from their Hydro Boost line to make sure that my face is glow into the gods. I am also going to be showing you guys how I'm going to do my festival look for today. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by using Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Multivitamin Booster. This is what I use right after cleansing and this contains vitamin E and purified hyaluronic acid which already exists in the skin. So I'm going to do two pumps and I'm going to just apply this on my face. So this product is going to act like a sponge and absorb a thousand times its weight in water. And this is going to really help revitalize and brighten my skin when it starts feeling all the effects of the after parties. So now we have the Hydro Boost Water Gel and this product is crazy. You can wear it as a moisturizer alone or you can use it as primer. But I'm just gonna apply it right before I put on all my festival makeup because it absorbs really quickly without getting all sticky. It literally gives you the most intense hydration and it helps retain moisture over time. It's just really weird because when I go to these festivals, I'm like constantly drinking water but I never actually feel quenched. So it's important to make sure that my skin feels hydrated because I can't it's not like I can just pour water on my face throughout the day so now that skin is prepped I'm gonna move straight into the sunscreen I'm using my unseen sunscreen which has SPF 40 I really like using this as a base for my makeup because it protects you from the Sun and it sits well under makeup because you know sometimes sunscreens they're a little bit greasy and slippery and then when you put the makeup over it it just gets all patchy you will never run across that issue with this sunscreen for foundation, I'm using Hourglass's Vanish. I am going with a foundation that is more high in coverage because the festival calls for full coverage, to be honest. I don't want this stuff melting off. I've got some bags under my eyes. I need to cover this. I need all the help that I can get. And today is the first day of the second week of the festival. And I thought I would just start the weekend with a bang with this blue wig. I am so pumped on it. I got this for I think like $20 on Yes Style. I got it earlier in the month and it's the best decision I've ever made. Like I, I've spent quite a lot of money on wigs and I would say that this is probably my favorite one because it's so easy to put on. I don't have to worry about my lace front because since it has bangs, all the hard work is done for you. I actually bought six more of these types of wigs. I'm actually pretty bummed that they're not here, but what can you do? For concealer, going in with Fenty Beauty. I'm in the shade 210. And I'm just gonna pop it under the usual spots, especially the under eyes. Last night, I finally got some good sleep. I feel like last weekend, I slept a total of nine hours throughout the entire weekend. So last night, I just passed out like a freaking baby. Now to set this, gonna go in with an oldie, but a goodie, Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have tried a lot of different powders in the past, but I just like to come to this one when I know I'm taking photos or if I'm gonna have a long day because I just don't wanna risk it, you know? I've been a victim of flashback too many times to be super experimental. Like, I just don't know when is a good time to experiment with powders either because when would you ever want to risk getting flashback? You know what I mean? This powder is good because I know what to expect. It sets everything. And like, if I want to make sure that I'm super matte, I can just bake. But I think today I'll be okay. The bangs on this wig really come clutch because it's going to cover my forehead anyway. For brows, going to go with the same hourglass one. This is their brow sculpting pencil. Just going to fill them in really quickly. All right, that was simple. Wow, I think this is the fastest I've ever done my brows. Since I have my blue wig, I just wanted to play up with more blues, and so I'm gonna grab my Pat McGrath Mothership palette, and I'm gonna go in with this super iridescent periwinkle slash purple color that has tons of duochrome in it, and I'm gonna get my ring finger, and I'm just gonna pop it on the lid. I'm gonna make sure not to swipe too much. It's just a gentle pat because I do not want any fallout. I just find that you just get a lot more bang for your buck when you use your finger. So now that we have this purple base, I'm gonna use another palette. I'm sorry that I keep like switching palettes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. 
I'm gonna go in with a ColourPop's Chasing Rainbows palette and I'm gonna go in with this like coral fun pinky shade called Wishlist and I'm gonna use this as my blending color. I just thought that this would be an easy way to make it more fun and colorful. I'm just gonna go to the outer crease and I'm just gonna start blending that baby up and down, side to side. It's okay if some of the eyeshadow in the middle comes off. It's just bound to happen, gravity. But don't you worry, we're just gonna pack it back on again. Then I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and I'm just going to smooth it out. Make sure it's all smoked out nicely. I just want a little bit more definition, so I'm gonna go in with Realness, which is kind of like a darker chocolate shade. And using another brush, I'm gonna pack it right where these two colors are gonna meet. Just to intensify a smidge, not too much, but just enough to be like, hey, drama's here. Now we just gotta keep blending until it looks decent. So I'm gonna go back in with that coral shade wish list, and I'm just gonna drag it underneath my eyes just so that the bottom has the same amount of drama as the top. I'm gonna go back in with that iridescent shade and I'm gonna go pack it back on again to make sure it clocks back in. I'm gonna go in with a light coat of mascara using Hourglass Caution Extreme. This is just my favorite mascara. I can't find anything better with than it because it does a good job volumizing. And I like that when like my eyes get teary, it doesn't bleed. So even if I cry or something, it just stays put. But after the end of the day when I'm washing my face, it's not a struggle to take this off like other waterproof mascaras. Like this mascara doesn't claim to be a waterproof mascara, but it's very water resistant. Yeah, these are, these are a little bit too intense. I, I think I want something more subtle. I think these lashes are a little bit more fluttery. So the lashes are on and I'm just gonna skip contour because you know, it's you're not gonna see my chiseled cheekbones with this hair. So we're gonna move straight into blush. I'm using NARS's Orgasm and this is in their brand new packaging. I like this new formula for their blush because it's not so pigmented. I mean, I love pigmentation, especially when it comes to eyeshadows, but for blushes, you know, it can chill a little bit. When it when something's too pigmented for your blush, it's just so easy to get carried away. So I like when they kind of set you up for success by not making it so potent. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use this little quad from Dior. I'm gonna go in with this lovely gold shade on this corner, and I'm just going to hit the usual places. You know it. The cheekbones. We've got the other cheekbone. And then also on the nose. And Cupid's bow. Oh, I almost forgot the inner corner highlight. This just makes all the difference. It just makes the entire eye look tied together. And I'm gonna hit that brow bone as well. For my lip color, I'm gonna go with the standard nude. This one is by Dominique Cosmetics and it's called Nude Kiss. So now this is when everything's gonna come together. I'm using these stickers by Gypsy Shrine. I got these from Pony. She gave me a pack after we were hanging out on weekend one. I feel like she completely saved my festival looks because without this, you know, it'd be, it, it's like a fun festival look, but this is what makes it festival. So I'm just getting some eyelash glue and I'm just gonna just coat the back with this adhesive. So I'm gonna apply it right here. I'm just gonna go for it, girl. Wow, guys, makeup look is done. I'm gonna take off my clips and situate my hair. Last but not least, we gotta tackle the body. Here I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. I feel like festival season is kind of like the Olympics of Instagram because there's so many outfits, so little time, and this product right here is gonna make sure that your skin looks A1 for that. It's not greasy, it goes on smooth, and it also has the hyaluronic acid just like all the other Hydro Boost products in the line. It's kind of like skincare, but just for your whole body, you know? And honestly, this smells so freaking good. Like personally, I'm a big fan of this scent, but if you are a little bit more selective with your fragrances, it also comes in a fragrance-free version. 
I'm pretty sure everyone else in the house needs this too. All right guys, now that my face and my body are hydrated as F, let's head to the festival. I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am so excited to be heading out to many more festivals this summer. Bye!